So, can I start? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, it does look at 20, 20 paper, two external equation on menstruation. Specifically, we are looking at how to find the total surface area. Okay? So, it's saying I create the total surface area of uh, the cylinder below. So, we have been given a cylinder which has uh, the base radius of what? 10.5 centimeters, then the length is uh, 30 centimeters. Then we have been told to find the total surface area. So, in this case, it does look at what we have been given. We have been given 5, which is what? 22 over 7. We told to use 5 as 22 over 7. Then the best area of this cylinder is what? Uh, 10.5. So the, the radius is what? The area is what? The radius is 10.5. And then the length, which is also the height, is what? Uh, 30 centimeters. Okay? Then we've been told to use this information to find uh, the total surface area for this particular what? cylinder. So first and foremost, we're going to write the formula, which is given by... Uh, Total surface area is equal to uh, 2 by radius, open brackets, radius plus height. Okay, so what we're going to do is we just substitute in the formula. We've been given the pi, which is 2 over 7. So one is pi is equal to 2 over 7. Then the radius is uh, 10.5 and the height is what? Uh, 30. So we move on and say 2, this is part and parcel of the formula. 2 multiplied by what is our pi? 22 over a 7 and multiply by what is our radius? Our radius is uh, 10 point, uh, 5 then what is our radius? 10.5 again 10.5 plus what is our height? Our height is 30 so we have 30 okay then we move on so since at the grade 9 level we are not allowed to use the calculators so the best thing we can do is we need to reduce this Okay, now how are we going to reduce? First, we're going to find the product of 2 and 22. It does multiply. 2 times 22, you get 40, 44. Over what? Over 7. Okay. Then, multiply by uh, 10.5. Now, this 10.5, for us to make our work easier, we can convert this 10.5 into a what? A whole number. Write it as a whole number out. We're going to withdraw this at this small point. Okay? We are going to ignore this decimal point. Now, when we ignore this decimal point, it simply means we have ignored one decimal place because this number has one decimal place. So let's ignore one uh, decimal place. The reason we are doing this is because we want to convert this number into a whole number. We write it as a whole number. Okay? So when we write this one as a whole number, it's going to become 105. Okay? You just move on. Then, what is a uh, 10.5 plus 10 to get 40.5. Okay? Yes. Now, at this level, what we're going to do is since we have uh, 44 divided by what? By 7 multiplied by 105. Then we have these inside the brackets. Now, brackets are the represent what multiplication. So, this is as good as multiplying this by what is inside the brackets. Okay? So, what we're going to do is this 40.5 is also a decimal number. We can convert it into a whole number. Write it as a whole number. We are going to have what? Uh, 405. I'm moving with this. Then, now, if you write this number, this number 40.5 as 405, it simply means we've ignored this decimal place, okay? This decimal point. So, we've ignored the other decimal, decimal place. So, in short, we've ignored how many? Two. Two decimal places. This one and this one. Okay? So we ignore two decimal places. Now we can multiply. If you wish, you can say seven can go into uh what's this? One zero five. How many times? Uh fifteen. Yes. Is it? Fifteen. So you say or you multiply forty-four times one zero five, then divided by seven. Let's do this one. So let's multiply uh one. 0, 0,5 multiplied by 40, 44, we see the answer, okay? So, 5 times, 4 times 5 is 20, so write 0 carry what? Carry 2. Then, uh, uh, 4 times 0, it's 0 plus 2, you get what? You get 2. Then, 4 times uh, 1, you get 4. Okay, then 5 times 4, you get 20, so write 0 carry 
uh, 2 then 4 times 0 you get what? 0 plus 2 you get uh, 2 okay then 4 times 1 you get what? you get 4 then you can simply add okay that's find uh, the sum of this 0 plus 0 you get what? 0 uh, 2 plus 0 you get what? 2 then uh, 4 plus 2 you get what? Uh, 6 then 4 plus 0 you get what? Four. So this is it, our answer. The product of what? 44 times 105. I get what? Uh, 4,620 divided by what? Divided by 7, then multiplied by uh, this one, which is what? 405. Okay? Then we can divide. We just find the quotient of this and this. So 7 into 7 is 1. Then 7 into uh, 42 is 6. So 7 into 46 is what? It's uh, 6, okay, remainder what? Remainder 4, yes. Okay, what we, what we have? This is 42, right? Okay, 42. Put 7 into 42 is what? 6. Including this zero to come to what? 6, 6 is time. So we have 6, 6 is Then multiply by what? Multiply by uh, 4, 0, 5. Okay, so let's multiply this by 4, 0, 5. Let me multiply from this side. So we have 6, 60 multiplied by 4, 0, 8, 0, 5. Okay? So 5 times 0, this is 0. 5 times uh, 6, you obtain 30. So write uh, 3. Uh, sorry, 0 carry 3. Then 5 times 6 is 30. 30 plus 3, you obtain what? 33. Okay? Then uh, 0 times uh, 0 is 0, 0 times 6 is 0, 0 times 6 is 20, 0. Let's move it together. Then we say uh, 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 6 is 24, is it? So write 4, carry what? Carry 2. Then uh, 4 times 6 is 20, 24. Plus 2, we get what? 20, 26. Then we can do what? We can now add. Okay? We can now add. We add uh, 0 plus 0 plus 0 gets 0. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, plus 0, plus 0, plus 0 gets 0. 0 plus 0 plus 3 gets what? You get 3. Then uh, 4 plus 0 plus 3 get what? 7. 6 plus 0 get what? 6. 6 plus, uh, 2 plus 0 get what? 2. Now take note, we ignored how many decimal places. We ignored 2. Why? These two. Two decimal. This is what we know. We know how many two decimal places. So we need to take the back for us to answer our final answer. So for us to write our final answer, we're going to say total surface area is equal to taking back our two decimal places. We're going to have this one is the whole number. So the, the decimal point just behind. So taking it back, we're going to have like this one, then you have two. So our answer is what? 2,673 centimeters squared. This is our total surface area. Hi. Yes. What is you? Okay. Where are you?